okay guys this is me in my studio actually about to appear um to prepare a surface for doing a texture art um, the textured art is done on artboard actually yeah this is the artboard yes that's the artboard I prepared the artboard with some glue that's it's like a pona glue just spread it over the artboard give it a nice surface and after I do that okay after I do that I use my pona glue yes put over it prepared board and after I prepared the board for a surface now I have the this is my mixture that I put onto the board it's a mixture of modeling piece pointer glue and some sun and I can find sun mixed up a lot of different stuff in it actually that's my secret yes and now I'm gonna prepare the board with the, the glue, with the, the potty that I mix up, the mixture. Put in some more mixture on it. On it. Okay. There I go. Put in some mixture on the board. Ready to spread it. So I'm gonna spread this mixture. So I started to spread my mixture all over the board at times I use my pallet knife but you know using a regular knife can also work to put on the putty so to give it a good amount of texture on it So there I put in my putty all over the board. So I'm gonna spread this all over everywhere. Mix it up, make sure you don't have any lumps in it. Mm. Smooth, no lumps. spreading So, so there I go spreading out my putty all over the board well actually I found a lump so I have to remove it okay, it's not really a lump it's just mixed up properly so I have to get it mixed properly okay So after I do all this mixing and spreading of putties and the hardboard, sometimes I do the same texture and canvas. But you, you do it on hardboard, you get a nice feel. And it's you prepare your hardboard, spray it with insect. Make sure you spray it with insect protecting from insect or anything. So no insect could touch your board once you have it finished. So once you do, do that insect protecting coat on it, 
then you prepare, start preparing the board for putting on the putty, spreading it in different layers. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, so this this is the product, the end of the putty. So put in the putty on so you get that kind of effect actually. Yeah. So it's covered over now, all the boards from one side to each other. So you can see I cover everything fully covered. So and to the second process of it now is to start doing sketches before it dries because this thing dry very fast it's dry really really fast so you have to start sketching as fast as you can There I put in some more textures in it. Make sure the body of the putty is okay for start sketching on it so you don't you have enough paste to sketch into. Okay. There we go. So I just have to turn my board around. So turn it around to get the better side where I gonna put the scenery on actually I'm putting a scenery on this okay yeah put it move yeah put it much thicker up this side here you can get some nice thick putty you can farm your trees and Put the formation of the sky, the building, you know, etc. So once you started to sketch into it, it's a different actually process of start sketching into the putty. So I'll give the putty a little bit of time to dry. Not fully dry, just quail a little bit. A bit uh, make it a little harder so when you put in the start sketching it start sketching you will get most more textures all the textures will show up in the sketch okay all right so it's this is all my stuff in my studio. Most of my works around, you can see. Um, this is actually one part of my studio. This is a smaller part. These are some pieces I work on. Uh, you can see some canvas prepared to start to paint on. See some stuff, all kind of stuff to do. It's a small area. You know? Okay. So now I'm about to start sketching. Let me try to come up the stuff. Okay. So it don't dry up. Can start. Working back soon again. Alright, so time for sketching. This is my little stencil tool that I use to sketch. This is a very important tool. I use it to be very flexible, as you can see. Yeah, very flexible. So I'm gonna sketch um a country shop actually starting by sketching the roof of the shop 
So, I started by sketching the roof, putting lines. There we go. Been to the country and see this little country shop in the country. You know, a little shop on the roadside. Um, having little red stripe sign and you know, so I'm actually just marking out some lines inside so this would be the shop the roof of the shop you know little country shop with the roof A little zinc roof so you have to make the patterns in the zinc So these would give you a nice texture, like a 3D tone texture. So to get the brush, the, to get the um my little tensile moving freely, I actually dip it in liquid so it can run through the putty easily and show up the lines so this is the roof of the shop actually I'm trying to catch the lines in the zinc make the looks of the zinc the tone, the lines to give it the zinc roof look actually I should let it dry a little bit more but you know I'm just working through it because I can do that I can work in wet and wet easily So now, as you can see, a little sketching out going on there. You might not see the process so far fully, but the roof is already sketched out. That's the roof of the shop. I'll sketch it in the black. Because it's sketching black, you won't see it so good. But the, the end product will be what it's all about. So the end product would be the painting itself. Because this is going to be coated in colored it's gonna color when it dries I put it like for two days for drying and after two days of drying after two days of drying this it will ready to start it to paint so I'll paint a coat of black first on it over again coat it again with black even though it's already in black so when it dries it's gonna a little pale so I'm gonna paint back it in black again first full black and then started to add color so we don't reach there yet we don't reach the process of coloring it so we have to get the sketching first so I'm just doing the little board look up in the top of the shop there you know, the country shop has this like a board thing up in the roof, top to the roof. So I'm getting that like a board effect. So 
so this is just part one of starting out how I started out doing my textured art so actually I think I oh, where do my knife my knife my knife okay searching for my knife to do some more texture on it all right well I think I carry this part up a bit too high and now I have to take down a little bit of this lines that I have here so I'm gonna put the line a little bit lower so I can put it in the window of the shop and this line is a bit lean so I'm going to take that line out all right so I'm going to drop the line a little bit lower for the zinc a little zinc fence going to be right in the corner here and then I have the shop doors and windows and the pizza and also the little bit of awning thing like coming over the front of the shop where you can stand under the shop pizza maybe a conscious shop or with a little pizza with them standing up under in front of the shop so if rainfall you can stay there and don't get wet mm -hmm. okay Well, above the shop right here, actually, um, putting in some little leaves is a tree behind the shop. I think it's maybe a breadfruit, not a breadfruit, it's um, actually a uh, orchid tree around there. Yeah, there's an orchid tree behind the shop. So I have to start putting in the little leaves of the orchid tree and actually put this, t put this stem the leaves you know I have to form the leaf first and behind the shop is also another tree so I think this tree is actually right in the corner there are the leaf of the ackee tree and then right here there's a small tree it gets some small fruit tree yeah. can be orange or thunderine or one of those small fruit trees right in the back of the shop there around the back and on the other side I have a little tree they call it's actually it's a tree called it's like a see I make some lines like you know within the tree branches them so this tree is actually something like a apple tree I think it's an apple tree right there right in the back there's a little apple tree so you know the f behind here are gonna be like skies and you know colors of the skies and stuff like that so as you can see if you can see so good formation of the sink roof um, the little tree in the corner okay tree in the corner there so then we have this upper tree supposed to be over here as you can see these are little leaves I'm putting on you know some leaf looking figures right here and over here is another tree coming in from that direction so I'm putting some leaves again did the text special technique I used to get the leaves so you know this like you're carving the leaves out so when you put the paint and when you start it when it dries and you start the paint you're gonna have this 
relief look on the leaves like they are almost coming off so these leaves will look like they're coming off the thing the 3d effect okay So this tree in the corner could be another tree, some fruit trees again. Okay, so that's the background of it. The tree is in the corner above the roof of the shop. And then another tree in the corner. And then the background. Okay and to the other process so working on the shop again putting in windows and door now so as you can see now the shop coming up this is where the window is falling one of the window of the shop the side window and then the zinc fence running along the bottom there and down here you have a little grass banking oh okay putting the grass there you have to mark out the grass effect so when I put the color of the grass in it look like grass yeah so there you go with the grass effect That's it, the grass effect right there. So right on the bottom of the zinc fence there. So there is the zinc fence here. And then the grass effect, there's some grass right there. And then you have the road come around like from here. It's gonna go around. And then, all right, then this is the shop front of the shop. So you're gonna have the pizza and this little zinc roof. Okay, look at board, barred out there. Okay, so they can board the roof there, then right down the line there is the shop. I don't want to dip my brush in the water, my, my stencil that I use is actually not a brush. Alright, right there is the front of the shop. So. You know, from the front of the shop, actually, you're gonna have the pays at the shop now. They call it pays, that they call it shop pays, like, um, you know, the little from there and then the little walkway to go entrance to the shop. So, right here is the little pays at the shop. Then you know the country shot them already. Always have the next step to go up. So step about three step. Then you reach the road level. And there the road level right there. So and they say three step to the road level. So, there you go. It's really a little step to go up on a the shop there. They know the conscious thing set up already. They now really have you would much like black on them, some of the shop, old shop, and then you would like stone. So, at the bottom of the, the step, a little place that there is you have like a little stone wall you know like they you know they cut stone them they put on the wall so this is gonna be a little cut stone wall right there 
the German scientist in a safe house not far from here. Um, he's being held here in an old factory right off of the Auto Road A25. So there is actually the outcome of the shop so far. Okay, they put a little lady right here walking toward the shop. You can see there's a little lady walking toward the shop. There at the shop front, there's a little lady standing in the front of the shop door. And there's the window of the shop and the door, another window on the other side. The paper with like a stone wall carving the step going up to the stop. This is the step going up to the paper pavement. I did the pavement of this. And then over there now is a little house in the background. There is a little Yeah. A little house here in the background. You know, they have the country shop with a little house beside it. Either the people that live next door or some other person live there. Yeah, next door neighbor, something. So. That's a little house around the back here. Hmm. Just a little house. So actually, that's basically this layout of, of it so far. So I have to leave this process now to dry. And after this process dry, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna do another work on it. So it's gonna, it's gonna take about two to three days to dry properly. After that, I'll be going to sketch some other one in the meanwhile, do some other one and put them to dry too so we can start the process of painting soon. The sooner as I start the process of painting, then you will see the outcome, the real outcome. Okay. For instance, I'm going to give you a preview of what one of the outcome will look like okay this is one of the dry process this is one with some country house a little road go around the corner some lady walking with some water pan in the hand so here they can see the ladies walking on the road with their water bucket and there's a little country house in the background you know, the little mountain and trees in the background. So this one is actually a process that's ready. There's another mango tree right there and some grass on this bank inside. So this process is already ready to paint now. So I'll be painting that one soon in colors. So as I can take you back to the first one. Here you go, the first the one that I was doing. So this is the one I was doing. And that's the shop, and the country shop on the roadside. So you know when this dry it's gonna look very it gonna pops out so you can see where to add colours to it. Okay. 
Now this one is one of the same process actually with colors already framed it's the river scene same kind of textures same textures same process of work and this is how when I added colors to it it's come out almost like a 3D see There's the river flowing rocks and the pond center tree on the riverside banana tree in the background the mountain okay and over here this one now is the same process of the house and the same process of textured so there it go yes so welcome to my studio again Peter Page Studio and this is my result of my painting see lady walking up to the house with a little pan of water a little grass in the front part of the yard little corny trees little tree in the background and you have the poetry in the backyard the zinc roof of the house okay so that's it there you go okay thank you for watching